This herb is poisonous, belladonna, the deadly nightshade. Avoid the belladonna plant. Belladonna is also called deadly nightshade, because it can be deadly. The name belladonna is a reference to women thousands of years ago using the berries to enlarge their pupils and therefore be seen as enhancing their beauty. Its use was the equivalent of a highly dangerous recreational drug of today. However, it's also used as a homeopathic remedy to treat many different ailments and illnesses, and you can buy it over the counter in pharmacies. Which begs the question of why? This is the first video in the series of Secrets of Herbs, entitled, This Herb is Poisonous, Belladonna, the Deadly Nightshade. You'll discover the side effects of this very dangerous and poisonous herb. As well as the medicinal applications and so-called benefits from its very controlled use by the pharmaceutical industry and medical profession. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to access other helpful videos, and then kindly click the grey bell icon to be notified of future videos being uploaded to the Natural Health Guys channel. In ancient history, the belladonna plant was used as a poison during war times, whereby the berries were rubbed onto the arrowheads, so they could poison their enemies. Although there are medicinal qualities, extreme caution should always be observed when handling the plant, as belladonna is a very poisonous perennial herb, and should only be taken under the recommendation of your healthcare professional. There are three main features of deadly nightshade. Number 1. Belladonna Side Effects There are three main side effects, as follows. 1. Belladonna can show side effects in some patients, such as nausea, vomiting, shortness of breath, dizziness, seizures, difficulty in swallowing due to dryness in the mouth, and irregular heartbeat. 2. Being exposed to this plant in natural surroundings can also be dangerous as all parts of the plant are poisonous. 3. Its toxic compounds can be absorbed directly through the skin, which means even handling the plant can be deadly. Number 2. Belladonna relieves some of the following health problems. 1. Belladonna's main active component, known as atropine, is supposedly effective in relieving a. Gastrointestinal discomfort b. Normalizing digestive secretions, and c. Calming abdominal tremors. 2. Therefore, it's sometimes recommended for patients with a. Gastric problems b. Digestive problems such as GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease, and c. Stomach ulcers and gastritis. 3. Belladonna is also sometimes recommended for patients suffering from a. Excessive sweating b. Motion sickness, and c. Nausea and muscle cramping. Number 3. Medicinal Benefits of Belladonna Belladonna can be diluted into a homeopathic formula for administering. Some of the medicinal benefits for belladonna are reckoned to include 1. Relieving menstrual cramps Belladonna is used in relieving the stomach and muscle cramps associated with menstrual pain. 2. Fevers and infections Belladonna is sometimes recommended for treating the following. A. Ear infections and it can even help with the surrounding affected areas, such as the swelling of the glands. b. The eye infection called conjunctivitis, if caught at an early stage. c. Relieving the symptoms associated with light sensitivity, burning sensations, and swelling by administering it in the form of a diluted eye drop or as a topical agent. d. It's used in eye drops to dilate the pupils when an eye examination is conducted, and e. Yeast infections, where belladonna is used as a topical agent, where it helps relieve the redness and itchiness associated with these types of infections. 3. Colic pain in infants. Professionals may also occasionally recommend belladonna to alleviate abdominal colic that causes discomfort and indigestion among infants. Belladonna is administered in a much diluted form for this purpose, which supposedly makes it safe for ingestion. 4. Muscle spasms. Another benefit of belladonna is its ability to treat muscle spasms in patients with Parkinson's disease. Although it hasn't been proven that it can or could delay the progression of the disease, treating spasm of the muscles is a great relief for patients. Number 4. Summary and Conclusion Belladonna has been extensively studied with many experiments performed to produce a medication that's supposedly relatively safe for administration. 
As a topical agent, it's usually sold in the form of a supplement, but is also available as an ointment, spray or liquid. One should always seek professional health advice before taking any medication or supplement that contains belladonna. Always obtain a second professional opinion if you are in any doubt. Better still, avoid it completely and seek out far safer alternatives. This brings us on to the next video in this series of Secrets of Herbs, where you'll discover the features and benefits of black cohosh. In the meantime, we hope you found this video, this herb is poisonous, belladonna, the deadly nightshade, helpful and of interest. So please feel free to share with people you think will also find this video worth watching. And don't forget to leave a comment or ask a question in the comments section below this video. To get more videos like this one, why not become an exclusive subscriber of this channel? By clicking on the subscribe button in the bottom right corner of this video, and then click the grey bell icon to ensure you get notified of when the next video is uploaded. If you'd like more information about the many benefits of herbs and the symptoms they help with, check out the other videos in this series by clicking on the end screen coming up. And finally, many thanks for watching.